Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we're going to be unboxing a iPhone XR. So, they give you this rip thing, so you can just do that. And there goes the SIM card. Huzza! Grab, wiggle, Ooh. little pamphlet, put that off to the side. Aha, there's our new phone. Grab this, we'll put it right here. Start that up after. Charger. Typical iPhone earbuds and an iPhone charging cable. So yeah, nothing's really changed. Some typical pods, but because there is no headphone jack, of course, you get a set of Bluetooth headphones. So next thing we're gonna have to do is of course unpackage our phone and then just looking for it right there. We're gonna pull out our SIM tray and we're gonna put in our SIM card. So if you're looking at your phone, right here, sorry. you have your little poker tool, that's in your little care package right here, so if you open that up, you'll find the poker tool. Then you grab it, you poke it in the poker hole. It sometimes needs force, just like that. Once it pops out, grab, pull it out. You'll see that you need the nano sim. So if you get a sim card like so, you need to pop out the smallest size you can, which is even down one more than that. There's three stages. Once you do that, you want to put the sim card in the tray in the way it tells you to, which is like this. So chip up, and then we go here. We just have to line it up, which is this way bam so from there we're gonna turn it on Let's see if I'm holding the right button is that even a button Let's see here oh maybe this one watch me hit a whole bunch of different buttons until it turns on Seriously, I thought it'd be one of these ones. Pause it for a sec. Oh. <laughs> Huzzah! We got it. Here I am playing around with it. It's like, oh, is it this button? Is it that button? There's the two volume buttons on the side, I guess. And then there's this button. And it ended up being this one. So once you put your SIM card in and it's firing up for the first time, you might want to do some transfers and stuff. Oh look, hello. Is it me you're looking for? English. And then we'll go to Canada. There it is. Cayman Islands. Quick start. If you have an iPhone or iPad running ISO later, later, bring it nearby to sign it automatically. Unfortunately, uh, our previous phone looks like thus, so that's not gonna work. Even the camera's smashed, so that's not gonna work at all. Set up manually. We're gonna go through and do our internet stuff. Give us one sec here. After you put in your Wi-Fi information, now it starts to activate. Now it's just your data privacy. Continue. Oh, it has the face ID, so if you want it to do your face, so every time you look at it, we're gonna do setup later in settings. And then you can create a passcode if you want to. So do that. So from this point, you can either do it from iCloud if you had an iPhone, iTunes if your phone's broken and you've used iTunes before, set up it as a new iPhone or move data from an Android. So if you have an Android phone, click that option, just follow your options. We decided to do the iCloud backup. Again, first it asks you to put in your password, then it gets you to put in your Apple ID and password, and then now you get to this part where it's just updating. And then it'll say choose backup. These are the most recents for him. So I think we're gonna just select the most recent, and this is pretty much when his phone died. Continue, continue. And that's pretty much it from here. You don't need to see this. Actually, we're not even gonna do that. We're gonna don't use iPhone keychain. 
Get weekly reports of insights about your screen time and set time limits for your apps. No, that's okay. Uh, no, I don't want to share my analytics. No, I don't want to do that. I hate ambient lighting. To do that. You can choose if you want more blue or yellow. See that yellow? Choose whichever one you like. Maybe if you're more of a photographer, you'd like the other setting. Right after that, it just starts restoring. Let it do its thing. If you can, plug it into the wall, just so that way your battery stays nice and full. Once you're in and you've put in all your passwords, because uh, instantly after we opened it, it started asking for all the passwords for all those different accounts. We just hit cancel on all that for now. You can do that after. Let's take a look at this camera. That is really nice, and it's really good autofocusing. Let's get really close to Egypt. Egypt, Iran. That's really cool. Let's see, video. Ooh. That looks really good. Then it's got the slow-mo, so you can click it and go, ooh. Stop. Hammer time. Let's see. <laughs> that was like nothing. I wish I had a fire or something to show you. That would have been cool. Either way, all in all, looks pretty cool. The only thing you might want to do is go through your different uh, settings and stuff like that. But again, I'll let you go online and look at the different camera options if you're a photographer and learn all that. Uh, so far, it's super quick. Until Apple does their updates, probably, but it's still really cool. Uh, YouTube. Let's YouTube my own stuff. It's nice how it uses the full screen, kind of like the other ones. Ooh, it's already getting warm. <laughs> and then, let's type in my YouTube channel. I'm just really curious on how quickly it loads everything up. Oh. I'm not cool enough for uh, quick loads, but let's see. Oh, look at that. Advertisement loaded right away. That's good. This is my video that was just released today. Let's go right here. Bam. That's really cool. Loaded quick, loaded in 4K. That's good. Or I don't even know if this the screen is 4K. It might be only 1080p. Either way, it loaded right away and in full definition. It looks great. And again, just in case, uh, yeah, that's really cool to see my video like that anyways really nice looking phone really quick and other than that we're just going to throw it in a case because if you spent this much money on a phone you should definitely throw it in a case hope this helped you set up your iphone press a little like if it didn't subscribe for more bam full screen